We have our pauldron and our straps, and now we're ready to put them together for test fitting. So the first thing we're going to do <clears throat> is determine left side, right side. I believe this is going on my left side. And I'm going to put the longer strap. Make sure you have a hole punch in the end of your leather, right? So that you can attach your rivet. Just snap into place with your pauldron and then you can do a test fitting with everything. Um, one thing to know to look for is if you cut this strap and you see any defects you want to trim those off very early on so um, the camera may not be able to pick this out because it's just a small crack on black leather but this crack here is probably 3 16th maybe 4 millimeters long and that's going to end up breaking later and I don't want that section where it's going to receive the most load to break off so rather than try and use it for the test fitting I know it's junk and I'm just going to cut that off now and then I'll round the corners to something nice and if I end up cutting it shorter that's fine remember you can always cut it shorter but you can never cut it longer no matter how hard you try we don't have that technology yet so We've got to punch little holes on all four of our straps to make sure everything fits. Won't take long. And then what we can do is start putting together our assembly. So I always put the post through as a nice guide so I'm pushing the post through the back of the strap so that I can look at the pauldron as I do the assembly and then put my cap on there just to hold it in place temporarily right so now we know that our strap is attached and there's a nice silver marker to show you where we are in our relative position so I'm putting the long strap on the back of the pauldron and the short strap on the front we're doing the wide section first we want to make sure that everything's held together nicely there. And we're going to do the same thing. Long strap on the back of the pauldron and short strap on the front. Like so. And when we're done, we have this entire armor piece and we can check all the straps then you can place it over your shoulder just like when we did the test fitting and you get to play the lovely game if you don't have a helper of reaching around your back trying to make sure the strap is not twisted and then figure out where your assembly is going to connect together okay let's turn that around We've got something like this. We know that there's plenty of strap available, okay? And then you have to ask yourself, where is the most comfortable location for a buckle to be? So if you have a buckle and you decide you want to put one somewhere, um, sternum's a pretty rough place to get hit. Uh, it doesn't matter how you've supported your breastplate, the sternum is always gonna, gonna hurt. So I usually try to go below your collarbone, but above your sternum, and that's regardless of whether you're pinning your leather strap across the top of the breast, like so, or at the center, okay? So depending on how you're gonna wear it, you wanna make sure to figure out a good location for the front. So I'm gonna dictate that first, and I know I wanna put my strap here. So you can either mark yourself with tape or a little silver pen, okay? Um, the tape is more obvious, so shows up really good on camera. This is where I want my buckle to start. Okay, So I'm going to have that attached here. And then we'll do the same thing with the smaller strap once we have the buckle attached. 